This video is brought to you by Artistworks. Artistworks are part of TrueFire Studios and they offer direct access to master musicians through their innovative online learning platform. Partnering with iconic musicians, they've crafted decades of industry experience into guided paths of online lessons. Crucially, there's an option to get personal feedback tailored specific to your playing via their unique video exchange. Get direct guidance towards your playing goals. You can use the code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of Artistworks courses. Okay, although we've got uh, in that Grammatico GSG another option for the kind of Dumble thing, the Litigate still remains quite an interesting uh, one for me. But also, I wanted to see today how it pairs with the Matchless Channel 1, because I think that's 
one of my favourite amps in the Helix. Um, so channel one, the, the matchless DC30 is kind of based on an AC30, right? But with some matchless magic, magic in there. Let's pair it up. Maybe I, I just go with what I think is quite a neutral sounding speaker. We'll go with um, the 67 condenser. We'll move a little bit away. And let's just just one of the more kind of open sounding amps and more I th just very amp like you know obviously these are all based on on real amps and stuff but it's just you know that one to me seems to do some of the things that we like from a real amplifier you know like cleaning up and responding really well to our dynamics so let's pair it with the line 6 litigator so I'm going to move this down onto path B this is just an experiment to see really what happens uh, so the litigator I'm going to push to about 7.5 let's keep more or less things in the middle of what's available we'll keep the presence lower for now and then I need to make a selection for a cab so let's get into the cab menu and maybe I go with the same cab or maybe I go for the open cream let's just use the same kind of concept for now the open cream is based on the uh, 65, right? Celestian speaker. Now we could pan these if we wanted to to get a real sense of what the two sides are sounding like. So kind of doing some interesting, very amp-like things there, I, I guess you could call it. Um, I want to chuck some sort of reverb on here, maybe, or maybe I go for more of a stereo kind of delay type thing. So let's go with the transistor tape, and what I'm going to do is set that scale... headroom as high as possible so we didn't get any break up from that I can hear now that the litigator has a bit less headroom uh, with these settings so I'm gonna just take the Just using my eyes in a visual to just check. I mean, 
that's very simply doing some really nice things. Let's set up a couple of snapshots. So I'm going to take this drive down to about 2.2 and this drive down to about 3.7. Nice. And what in, in the middle, we just crank things up and see how wild this can get. So let's. Uh, this master or channel volume needs to come down a smidge. It's really nice, like you can get the whole gamut of Now let's think about what drive might work nicely with these as an option. Maybe a Timmy might. So just keep the gain a little bit lower. Medium and take the So that could work. Uh, other options. The air apparent, if we put this into boost mode, could be really nice. It's boost. could be try top secret OD is a, a favorite of mine working quite nicely too. What about Stupor OD? Um, up the tone a bit maybe. Also nice. Um, so a few options there. 
maybe even a fuzz pedal might. <laughs> So, you know, some options there, all of them seem to sound to me pretty good. Pillars, sort of Tube Screamer-ish, with some different modes. And I think we should still have a bit of DSP that we could do some pretty cool things with if we wanted to so let's just chuck on a reverse delay for example bypass that let's go into this mode Uh, we could stick on trails and have that bypassed everywhere else. I might bypass that one in general. Um, and stick on trails on that as well. But yeah, we've got some real nice options. Mm -hmm. Not very many blocks, but using those two amps to, to get some really, really nice kind of stuff. Super touch responsive. Just uh, yeah, I think give that a try because I I hadn't I don't think I've tried this before, but the matchless I really love the feel of it, the litigator as well. Um, they're kind of different amps in in a lot of ways. This one you know more based on something like a Dumble type idea. This more of a Vox AC30 idea, but definitely paired together really beautifully. And yeah, it seems like you're getting.
plenty of the guitar kind of singing through that kind of preset so yeah I'll drop this into the Gumroad folder if you want to try that um, of course Gumroad basically you pay for it once and you get access to these presets going forward so hopefully you find something useful in there and I'll catch you in another video soon cheers